up guys we slept outside Popeye's <laughs> drive through <laughs> and I put in earplugs but I can still hear everything I didn't get to sleep sooner than Loki though and he was just telling me <laughs> about some of the orders that was ridiculous. Tell us again. There was like this one fat guy. Like I knew he was fat. <laughs> I didn't even have to look because he was just like, can I order like a box, like two boxes and a side and a double side and a bunch of biscuits. And then the guy's like, dude, uh, what do you want? And then he's like, I want, I want like mild and half, half mild, half spicy. And then the guy's like, okay, I'll just give you some some chicken and he's like you know i want half mild half, half spicy like this guy the, the guy who's ordering was just like bloody bloody blah i want this food i want this food i want this food and then like the um the guy who's the, the guy in the thing is just like uh he's just like so tired and there were some really loud people like is, there were a lot of really loud women ordering ordering food they're like yeah, uh, can I get blah, 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 blah. I was glad when I heard the decisive people who already knew what they wanted. Yeah. They were just like, yeah, I want this and this and this. Okay, and that's it. And then there's like these people who are like, hmm, do you have the box? Do you, what do you think about jalapenos? What is a jalapeno? What is a jalapeno? <laughs> oh, it's just a jalapeno pepper. Oh, it's just the pepper. Oh, it's just the pepper? <laughs> yeah, I heard that one. Uh, you were telling uh, you were telling me about the potato wedges lady. Yeah, the potato wedges there lady were there were there were two of them. There was one when I was awake and one when I was asleep. When you, when you were when she was asleep and basically it was just like just she wasn't really speaking very loud at first. She was like, "Do you have any potato wedges?" But apparently loud enough for us to hear since we're right by the drive-thru. Do you have any potato? Her voice was really shrill. Do you have any potato wedges? And the guy's like, uh, "No, ma'am, I can barely hear you. Would, would you please, would you please speak again?" And he's like, "Do you have any potato?" And he's like, no, ma'am, we do not sell potato wedges here. We do have uh, mashed potatoes and body blah, blah. She's like, ah! <laughs> So there was that. Uh, yeah. And uh, there was that one guy who was raging, and he, like, I don't know. I don't know what he did. Like, I think he either bought something or he, like, somehow escaped the drive through but he was stuck. You don't there. escape the drive through You just, like race through it at high speed if you want to get out but he yeah he told me that he was like he wanted the five dollar box they didn't have the five dollar <laughs> box and he was like he threw a fit about it he threw a fit because he ended up like the price was actually eleven dollars for anything <laughs> that, i mean i'd throw a fit about that too that's fucking ridiculous but. yeah and then there's like that um, <coughs> there's so many people ordering coleslaw it's disgusting and uh, Loki asked me, what's coleslaw made, ag made of again? I was like, cabbage. Mayonnaise. I don't know if the actual sauce is made out of mayonnaise. Well, it's fucking disgusting. That's my point. It is. I hate coleslaw. That's like one of the things we agree on is we both hate coleslaw. Coleslaw should be weaponized. That's how disgusting it is. How to enjoy coleslaw. Step one, throw it at a passing car. Step two, launch that out of a plane on a bunch of unarmed civilians. Step three, question mark. Step four, profit. Step five, sell it to ISIS. They could probably use it better than we do. Remember that conversation that I had with Michaela when she's like, oh, I'm afraid to fly, blah blah Yeah. And I can't take the Greyhound, blah 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 Well, I don't know. Somehow she got on her magic teleporter and teleported to New York yesterday. I wish your plane got bombed with coleslaw. <laughs> yeah, since you say coleslaw, it's funny. <laughs> The level of double-faced bullshit, you know what I mean? It must have been a teleporter, you know? <coughs> yeah. Totally. So, you know, Serenity, anyway, she and I are buddies on Facebook now. Um, she's part Native American, and she posts stuff about her Native American heritage. And you know, you know how I feel about people going on other people's statuses and talking crap? I mean, unless it's one of the Winch Boys on Facebook. Serenity posts that thing about how the European migrant genocide was larger than that of Nazi Germany. And then Michaela's like, you're the only one that posts this crap. So, and I went and I posted this long ass list of reasons why she's wrong. Uh, partially in her not being the only one who posts it. And especially since someone reposted it from me about why it's rude to call someone else's post crap. And also why Serenity has the right to complain, right? <laughs> 
And so Michaela, she just throws this tantrum about it. And she says, I studied history. I think I know enough. And I'm like, well, see, thinking you know enough about anything is really the basis for ignorance now. And I was really tempted to ask her, was the version of history you study the kind where patriotism is more important than the truth? Because I studied in college that actually, yes, did tell us the crap that the European settlers did to the natives. She's like, well, I'm American, that's my heritage. And I'm like, uh, yeah, my ancestors were actually involved in the founding of America, as I've stated several times. And even if they weren't, you would still be wrong. You should go eat a band-aid slathered cabbage coleslaw. Wait, a band-aid slathered coleslaw? You should go eat a band-aid slathered cabbage. And nobody defended me when someone jumped on me about posting about my heritage. I'm like, well, it's because you're posting bigoted crap. You know, Serenity's, you know, as a Native American, she's posting a Native going, the fuck is wrong with you people? You destroyed a bunch of my people and that's not cool. Here's a meme about it. Some people, they don't like the truth, but meanwhile, the stuff that Michaela's posting is basically like Confederate pride and all that, which it's kind of a mixed bag. Opinions are mixed on whether or not that's actually bigoted, because some people <coughs> have pointed out that they're literally comparing themselves with Nazis now. And some people are like, oh, it's not bigoted. It's like, that's like trying to ban any other kind of flag and blah, blah, blah. And, me, I'm kind of just over here going, well, I don't care. <laughs> kind of indifferent to the Confederates. You know, I don't, really, I don't really see them as good or bad. I just kind of see them as there. There's, there's some organizations that are completely like that, where they are white supremacist Nazi people and, and Confederate. But the whole Confederate thing itself isn't really... Well, the historical a aspect of it is the entire reason why they became Confederates in the first place is because they felt like they were being... L losing the rights to like their land and their slaves and all that stuff, but it's bigger. Losing than that. the li li losing the rights to their slaves, they could just go cry in the corner. I don't, yeah, 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 that, yeah. I'd have, I have but, no sympathy like, for that. It's it's evolved beyond the Civil War essentially, and that, that's really the thing that that I like to focus on rather than the typical uh, thing. If I, if I focus on it at all, so, right? You know, so and I, I, I recognize I get that. that it's bigger than that. Yeah. But at the, at the same time as any other, you know, particular group or movement or organization, they all have their downsides. They're skeletons in the closet. Yeah. So, but nobody's pure. Nobody's the, the, the highest truth or whatever, the greatest. Loki is. I'm generally just sort of indifferent to the Confederate. I'm largely indifferent, but I'm also kind of wary. If someone has a Confederate flag as their profile picture and then they're posting bigoted things, I'm more likely to go, well, of course. And there was someone who shared my dead name who was posting something like that on the Target page, and I, and you know, Ask for Help had already taken their page down, and I was like, well, I am so glad that I fucking changed my name. If I shared it with bigots like you, you twat. I think that given some of the things that are associated with it, um, maybe they should choose a different symbol that reflects who they are now because as you say, they've evolved. Definitely. So they should choose a symbol that's more, more indicative of who they are now rather than who they were then because that has some really awful connotation. For instance, the Nazis adopted the Buddhist symbol and then the Buddhists stopped using it because they didn't want to be associated with that. Well, it wasn't just a Buddhist symbol, it was actually also a Viking symbol. It was actually mm -hmm. a Viking rune for, like, victory and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And mm -hmm. nowadays, it's basically just a Viking rune for evil and torture and that, that sort of fucked up thing, you know? Like, that thing you don't want to see. Like, Well, that's probably actually where the Germans got it from. But anyway, as I was saying, the Buddhists also used that. But then after the Nazis became famous for that symbol, they stopped using it because they didn't want to be associated with that negativity. And I feel like the Confederates should do the same thing. Yeah, it'll probably be another couple of centuries before swastikas are even actually usable for common people again. If if they hadn't adopted the swastikas as their symbol, I mean, heck, I'd have swastikas. It wouldn't be a symbol of victory, it's, yeah. Yeah, a glory symbol, something like that. Back in the old days when there was like people carving runes on stone, yeah, there was 
a common thing, you know, to see a, see a swastikas on people's shields or sword, and you're like, yeah. And then, no. Yeah. So, I basically, that's, that's my point. Eventually, all symbols lose meaning as time goes on, but we're not really at that point where time goes <coughs> on. We're not at that point. And with the Confederate flag, honestly, we're not at the point where it's lost those connotations. So, people who, who take pride in heritage if unless they actually are taking pride in you know the slave owning and all the negative crap that came along with it they should really choose a different symbol by which to announce their pride in their heritage like she said she's tired of people jumping down her throat for her heritage and her belief and all that and i didn't jump down her throat about her heritage I got pissed off at her because she's negging someone else's status, and that's really rude. Pride in their native heritage, which I think overrides pride in their settler heritage, honestly. And if that's biased, then so be it. But she's whining about how people are jumping down her throat and not defending her for her statuses when she's negging on someone else's status. And I said... This is a completely different topic. It's just like, no, it's the same topic. And I'm like, no, you're derailing the original status and making it about you. And she's like, no one understands me. I think that raven is also tired of our shit. Or maybe that's a crow. Cry more. Cried the raven. Cry more. <laughs> wow, I love you. Somewhere between bored and just mentally exhausted. I've been trawling a site for those of you who read my blog. And yet food is, food banks closed on the weekends. So they'll ask personal questions right off the bat. Or they'll, um, or they'll make it very, very clear that no, they have not actually read and paid attention to my profile. Or maybe it's just because they're like me and they're going through everyone's profiles and then just liking everyone to see who likes them back, you know, and then messaging the ones that like them. But the thing is, is I don't like anyone unless they like me. Because I'm, you know, not actually looking for anyone, I'm just looking for free food. And then, or they'll act all affronted because, or surprised because, oh my god, you don't have a house, or Oh my god, you don't have a car. Dude, I literally hitchhiked up to here a week and a half ago. What kind of house do you expect me to have? What kind of car do you expect me to have? Use your brains, please. I just can't believe how many people go on this site and don't have a brain to split between them. And it, or there'll be guys who are, well they say they're 18 but they act like closer to 16. And they'll be like, there's so much trouble because my mom makes me do this or my dad makes me do this or I have to do homework or I have to deal with parents. Yeah, that's something that you want to tell someone that you're trying to chat up, right? You want to tell them about your struggles with your parents when you're on a site for adults. That's really attractive, by the way. That's that's fantastic. You know, I just don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm, I use the barest minimum of basic decency and a lot of people are like oh my god you're so sweet you're so nice and I was complaining to Loki about that yesterday and he said uh yeah you're not nice to anyone except me and your friends and I'm like I know I'm not nice and I am irritated at people thinking that that I am when they've known me for like a second when I said when there's been to be three messages in a conversation between us or when we're just been chatting about the weather or something like that they're like oh my god you're so nice because everyone else insults me that doesn't make me nice that just makes everyone else bigger assholes than i am seriously guys